tell me. We cannot get enough of her. She is so amazing. And we are so excited to hear another beautiful and inspiring sister. And that will be on today's Thursday for the Shiva of the Bacamas. And the title is Unconditional Love. Okay, Revitin, we're all ready. Thank you so much for taking the time, effort, and energy. Today, in this on a Thursday, I'm so graciously agreeing and so happily to talk on that conference line. It's so much appreciated. Thank you. Thank you. And Aura really deserves all the partnership. You do incredible work. So I'm just so um, thankful for the opportunity to be part of your organization. Um, especially on a, such a holy day today, we know that 17th of Tamos actually was yesterday and it was pushed off. So today is um, an unusual uh, day of fasting because it's not really on the day, but we can definitely really gain uh, such insights and such spiritual uh, powers today because also that it's not on today and that we are still fasting. We know any fast day is a good day before Hashem and we know that all fast days will be turned to joy and festivities and actually turn into a holiday. Um, so yes, unfortunately on the 17th of Tammuz, the first uh, tablets did, you know, get shattered. On um, 17th of Tammuz, uh, there was, um, you know, many of uh, beginnings of destruction, including the walls of Yerushalayim. And yes, although the the wording um, that relates to the word good. Uh, which is the 17 in Gematria uh, for the word good in Hebrew, Tov. So we know that everything Hashem does and everything that happens in the world ultimately we know is good because everything comes from Hashem. And so too as the Torah teaches us that the 17 good years that Yaakov had in Mitzrayim we always question how can it be good in its time so we have been taught by our sages that um, you know the only real way we can live with any kind of sanity is really you know train our brain to have this kind of amuna that whatever is happening is for our good just like when the breaking of the two tablets um, we are taught that the first ones that were broken was um, really from a form of godliness that came from above to down below. When the Jewish people sinned and the tablets were smashed, we learned that the second tablets, first of all, were um, greater. There was a lot contained in the second tablets that were not contained in the first, um, even though it was the same Ten Commandments, but the Midrashim and, and, and many more uh, insights to the Torah were revealed on that day when we got the second one. And the second one represents the work we do down here, because we had to do Baal Shuvas. We had to like fix and elevate and and like do our apologies and, 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 and then eventually got forgiven, but it was work that was down here that was done that shone a greater light because of having fallen and gotten back up. And that's why we're taught that Moshe Rabbeinu's face was actually shining the second round when he got the tablets and not the first. So even though as things appear not to be good, and, and it's difficult, we can still actually have this incredible understanding of even though our eyes don't understand that it's good, but our heart, deep in our heart, in our neshama, we can know that. So, um, and, and so today there is a superior quality because we're, 
we're fasting on a day that's not really the day. And yes, um, it, it, it was the beginning of, of the tragedy of leading up to the ninth of Av. And, uh, and yes, the walls were breached on that day. And yes, uh, till this day, we don't know the whole truth behind why and how it happened. Um, but for what we have been taught. And the Rebbe from Lubavitch does teach us that had we had unity, then we would have been protected from the devastation and the Beit Amigdash would not have been destroyed that day. And so 